I wanted your opinion on your guy, Ben Roethlisberger. I don't know <laughs> if you've seen the headlines. I'm sure you have. He's been all over the news because he talked to Ron Cook of the Post-Gazette, said a lot of things. I think a lot of things stood out, but, you know, nothing really huge to break down. The big one, in my opinion, Mike Tomlin, Kevin Colbert, basically saying, you know, we don't want you. We don't want you. Saying, like, and he came out and said there was no love from either of them. Yeah. I want to know. I want to know your reaction on on that whole situation now that you've seen that. I knew that last year, though. I mean, I I, I knew that that was a Rooney thing. Like we, I think you probably did too. But um, I mean, it was really the Rooney's trying to bring him back for that final season. Yeah. Um, like he said, I think Tomlin was really like indifferent towards it. Like he was ready to you know go if he needed to go, or he was ready to accept whatever was going to happen. Um, and then it seemed like Colbert was kind of the guy that was like really ready to move on. Cause remember like they waited forever last year in terms of like his new contract and stuff didn't get announced until like February. I mean, there was a period yeah, yeah. of time where it was like a six week span where, you know, we didn't have any info, like if he was retiring, if he was coming back, if they were going, you know, cutting whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean, Ben's, uh, very honest, I guess, in the media. Very and I honest. think that that's especially uh, in his old age. As yeah, he's getting and older. He really gives he d- no cares. Yeah, so I mean, I think that's um, it's good for people like us for sure, and I think it's it makes for good talking points. The other stuff that he said, I mean, um, really, there was nothing in there that I thought was like overly surprising, but it was no, one of them nothing. things where um, you know it's it's interesting. I'm curious on what I want to see is like how involved he is, like you know, moving forward. Um, if he's going to be, um, you know, if we're going to see him at, you know, the new stadium yeah. uh, very much, you know, this year, or just moving forward in general, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I agree. Cause I thought that's where that went. Is it re- obviously, I mean, there's a million Troy's the big one, but Heinz Ward, all those guys who were kind of pushed out of there. I don't know. Like I thought, I thought when I saw Colbert, cause I knew it last year too, there was everything floating around, but the fact that he confirmed it and named names, I think mm-hmm. was like, whoa, all right. And like, I, I'm just, I, the first thing I thought when I read it, I was like, oh, Derek's going to be pissed when he reads this. Derek's <laughs> going to be pissed. Cause that's a whole, I mean, like, you're not going nine and seven with who would, it would have been Mason Rudolph or Dwayne Haskins. Yeah. You're not going nine and seven with either of those guys. Yeah. I mean, he, he said it too. And I mean, I, I don't think any of us are going to sit here and say that like we think that he played like extremely well last year because he didn't. Uh, but the Steelers yeah. also set him. They they also set him up to fail. Like we've talked, we talked about that too. So um, it was just kind of a uh, you know scratch and claw your way to the playoffs. And I mean, I don't think um, in general, I think Steeler fans uh, because they've only like a lot of them have only seen this happen really one time with Ben. They've only seen like a legend, especially a quarterback, like go out like that. And obviously he wasn't nearly the player that he once was. But, like, if you just look at NFL history, like, some quarterbacks, man, they go out, like, really, really bad. And I don't bad. I don't think that that's really uncommon. And, I mean, Ben's numbers last year were a little rough. Um, and, you know, nothing compared to what we we're used to seeing from him. But at the same time, they made the playoffs. I mean, a playoff appearance and, you know, he got that final send-off at Hans Field. That was not – worst case scenario for like what could have happened. I mean, he could have been benched. I mean, like we, there was, there's a lot of different um, endings that I think could have been much worse. So um, I don't, I don't look too much into it beyond that, honestly. No, no. And I agree with you. I mean, like Ben, the way Ben went out was great. I mean, there's so many. So I still remember I watched all three of Brett Favre's final throws be interceptions. All three of them. You know, like, that's terrible. Ben, then, like, Ben's going to get remembered. Brett Favre will get remembered for that. You know what I mean? Ben's going to get remembered for the Browns Monday night game. That's how you're going to remember Ben. Easy. Yeah. Which is a great – like, that's exactly how he should have went. Um, but just like you said, that's not worst-case scenario. Without With Ben there, you're 9-7 and seven and you get into the playoffs. With, if Mason or Dwayne was your quarterback – you would have had a better draft pick and you would have still got the same player. Like yeah, that's they were going to probably take Kenny regardless. That's so. what I'm saying. You would have picked eighth and you would have picked Kenny Pickett. Instead, you got him at 20. You kept your winning streak alive. You know, you've had one great year with a quarterback. 
I, I, I wonder too if 2020 wasn't like the pandemic and if 2020 was um, all fans in the stadium. I wonder if he would have walked away after that. Um, but I don't think so. Not the way the Browns game went, though. I don't think I the don't, way the playoff the, game did. Yeah, the way the playoff game, I knew that he wasn't going to want to go out like that. But I also think. Um, as hot as he started in 2020, like down the stretch, like you could just tell like his it was starting to take a toll on his body. And like, yeah, I think that was a talking point that a lot of people missed during his season, like off where he was recovering from his elbow. Like, it's just hard, man. Like people don't understand the toll that professional sports like takes on someone's body and like not playing. Like, I think everybody was looking at like, well, yeah, he's going to be fresh. Like he hasn't been hit in a year, da da da. Mm-hmm. But like a year older and then you got to jump right back into letting like younger 20 year olds like hit you, you know, all over the place. That's, that's tough on your body to get readjusted. And I think it just took, took its toll. And then this season, you know, they just, everything just kind of was awful on offense really from the jump um, offensive yeah. line. They couldn't run the ball, all kinds of issues. Um, you know, pe- I mean, I know Ray Ray and um, Chase, have both alluded to like in the off season too about like how banged up he was like not being able to tie his shoes and all this other bull yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. but you know that's definitely a factor too for sure oh no doubt no doubt the ben story i mean it's gonna continue there's every time ben speaks from here on out i expect just headline after headline after headline because the dude's not gonna hold back and i love that i do love for that. sure <laughs>